I don't even know where to begin. I got up this morning around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, the day before Bot Blast 2014, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to build an ant. And my old weight, my Saifu kit was busted, didn't feel like trying to repair it. So I decided to do a one day build. I found an old saw blade that I had intended back in the day to make a weapon with. And I had some spare stuff just kind of laying about, so I sat down for weeks and weeks and planned this build out, obviously. It's like, what, maybe a grand total of, I don't know, six inches long? I think it's like five and a half inches from this point to this point. It's stupid. <laughs> it doesn't even have a name, and it's just stupid. But... This will be competing tomorrow at Bot Blast, and, well, I don't want to call it competing. It's probably just going to make a fool of itself. Yeah, that's what this thing's job is. Um, let me just show you that kind of how it works. I will say before I do anything that I'm not going to spin the blade up to full speed because of the way... The um, you can see at the base here. There's just a little bit of a nib, so it doesn't ride on the entire plate. Thing is, that nib spins, which makes the whole robot rotate. It makes it really hard to control, and I already lost control of it once and shot sparks everywhere from the concrete. So I'll just give you, I don't know, 25, 30 percent. It's really all you need because this is direct drive. So you think about it, that's 1400 RPMs per volt running at 11.1 .1 volts. I think that's faster than that saw blade was ever intended to go. As soon as I figure out how to put this damn kill switch in. You know what? You get to wait. And there you have it. Armed and ready to go. Alright. So. It does drive. It drives like hell because it's using the transmitters onboard mixing and uh, I'm just using cheap old ESCs that don't have any uh, brake on them. So. The controlling is really freaking stupid. Plus I'm kind of doing this like this and I've never done it like that, so it's confusing. Oh, son of a bitch. Anyways, let me spin it up a little bit. I'm just going to tick up on the trim until it kicks on. As you can see, it didn't take much for it to start going out of control a little bit. But this is with the actual throttle. That's only at about 20%. Really difficult to control. But with the ground clearance of, I don't know, a millimeter, two millimeters, it might be the lowest undercutter. Um, other than that, Scrambles of Death Dealer version 2.3 is packed up and ready to go. Hiding under a safe bag, a charger, 
Yeah, those are the new top plates. Uh, same old weapon. Some redesigned stuff. I'll go over those features at some other point. But, that's a short little video for pre-Bot Blast 2014. This stupid fucking thing. Uh, I don't know why I did this. Either way, should be interesting. I've been up for way too goddamn long. Well, I guess I'll sign off here. Take it easy, everyone.